After seeing that no one dared to stop Russia from annexing Ukrainian territory and seizing Georgian territory. It seems, Serbia, one of Russia's closest allies, is starting to realize that the Western powers are starting to weaken, and now the country are taking advantage from the situation. There are reports that Serbia is planning to invade Kosovo. Afghanistan may not be the West's only nation-building catastrophe. Serbia and Kosovo are once again at each other's throats. And Russia's set to be the big winner. Yes, you heard it right. Tension between Serbia and its former province are now rise again. Hundreds of ethnic Serbs have swarmed onto border crossing roads to protest having to use Kosovo-issued number plates in Kosovo. These have the characters RKS stamped on them, short for Republic of Kosovo. For Kosovo, the move implies its status as an independent nation, but the idea has resulted in Serbia outraged, even though it insists Kosovo drivers use Serbian number plates in Serbia. The cross-border tensions even worsen following the arrest of ethnic Serbs by Kosovo police. Kosovo's authorities say they're targeting organized crime networks near the Serbian border. However, Serbia's president Aleksandar Vucic has placed the military on high alert, saying they'll intervene to protect any unarmed Serbs. Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic appeared on Serbian television saying he was concerned about violence targeting Serbs in Kosovo. We have made clear what are the boundaries by which we will tolerate violence, Mr. Vucic said. Both the Europeans and Americans know that. We have said very precisely what our next moves will be, and in which order they will be made. On other hand, Kosovar Prime Minister Albin Kurdi has rejected reports alleging ethnic Serb protesters have been beaten by police. Kosovo President Vijosa Osmani says the world must not ignore what is clearly seen, a Russian-Serbian move to damage the European Union and NATO. It is time that the international community, and first of all the EU and NATO member countries, see such a danger and prevent the Vucic regime from realizing its goal of creating the Serb world, she posted to Facebook while attending the UN General Assembly in New York. Defense Minister Nabajsa Stefanovic said on September 28 that the Serbian army had raised the level of combat readiness on the orders of Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic. As he explained, that refers to the entire ground security zone along the administrative line with Kosovo, but that it did not trespass anywhere where it should not enter. Stefanovic told Pink TV that the army was ready to defend its people and that raising combat readiness and its presence along the line with Kosovo was primarily a preventive mechanism. We have the right to deploy army on our territory, no one will tell us what to do, that is our sovereign decision. We are not violating any international agreement, the army has not entered anywhere where it should not enter, Stefanovic said. He said that raising combat readiness in the entire ground security zone gave effects and encouraged the people not to allow anyone to jeopardize their safety but also that it showed that Serbia showed restraint and would not make incidents. Former UN Peace Envoy and Prime Minister of Sweden Carl Bildt said that Serbia has come under the boot of an autocratic regime that flirts with China one day and kowtows to Russia the next, all while its representatives continue to put on a good face at the European Commission in Brussels. A few years ago, Serbia is the country that's seeking membership in European Union, but now the thing has changed.
outgoing German Chancellor Angela Merkel declared days before she departed that Serbia and the entire Balkans region had a long way to go before earning access to the European Union. In her last meeting with Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic, she said his country needed to reach towards being a Reichsstaat, a nation under the rule of law. For his part, Mr. Vucic says he no longer cares. We were very enthusiastic about the accession process. Today we are not, we don't care anymore. He said as quoted by Australian media, news.com.au. Meanwhile, Russia has made the Balkans a frontline in his gray zone conflict with the West. Economics, politics and information have been weaponized to pull Serbia out from under the EU's influence. Lately, it's been busy rearming Serbia's military. Washington has been refusing to do so, citing widespread corruption as its chief concern. But Russia's influence isn't the EU's only hurdle when it comes to stabilizing the West Balkans. China has invested $4 billion and loaned another $5 billion to Serbia, and its diplomats are increasingly active in the region, 